And then after that, we can do whatever the hell else we want. I'll play some BB tag. I kind of want to play more Neo Yumi. Ne oh, by the way, just to kind of get this out of the way, Yumi has been freaking everywhere. I think BB tag is infested with Yumi's. I have talked to quite a few people. People say that she is not as good as people think. She is overrated. But then I see a whole bunch of Yumi shenanigans happening. And the newest thing that has been happening with Yumi is unblockables. Straight up unblockables. Now, her weaknesses are still apparent and they're still there, but they discovered something new that no other character can do other than Yumi. Consistently, as in, consistently. Not only can she do a buttload of damage, but she can set up unblockables and the drop of a hat. And you can loop it straight up. Yeah. Zombie Moo has been going nuts with with Yumi stuff. Shout out to Zombie Moo. How you essentially do this is because of Yumi's projectiles, the icicles. You know how it leaves you frozen for like half a second? Oh, and then take, oh my God. I saw a Tager Yumi unblockable setup and it was disgusting. This character is going to be the new GT Goku. I have a feeling that Yumi is going to be the new GT Goku. You're gonna see Yumi everywhere because Yumi has something that nobody else has and she can do it extremely well. <laughs> extremely well. Now, unlike GT Goku, GT Goku, I feel like has no weaknesses. Like that character is like super like overall the best character that has ever graced Dragon Ball Fighters right next to pre-patch uh, Bardock. However, Yumi does have some weaknesses, still. So I think she's going to be the new GT Goku, where we'll see her everywhere. At least at first. At least at first. We'll see how it pans out in the future. But GT Goku and Yumi are kind of, you know, in the context of BB Tag, I think I can easily say that she's going to be the new GT Goku. Unblockables. Yumi has crazy unblock. Let me try to attempt one, actually. Let me see if I can, just off the top of my memory banks, where I saw Zombie Moo posting on his Twitter. Let me see if I can replicate one super quick. The one that I was looking at with Zombie Moo was the Orie. It uh, was with Orie. There we go. We got it. Oh, oh, oh. Loop it. We got it. There's the loops! We got it! We got the loops! That's basically it right there. That is her unblockable loops. Just to kind of go into explanation as to how this unblockable goes without me completely just falling on my face with all these words. I go up, I take her uh, up to the sky, the opponent up to the sky as Yumi. I put her, I hit her enough so she's above my head. I freeze her. While she's frozen, she falls down a little slower than my than my character. As she falls down and I fall down, I reach the ground uh, faster, which leads me to do a, a reversal. Reversals are air unblockable, which means you cannot block them if they hit you if you're jumping. Once they're frozen, you call in any assist. You can do assist and then DP. Or if you're using Ori's 4P assist, you can do freeze and then do the 4P. All right, which because her 4P takes a lot of startup, but you can do this with pretty much any freaking assist. Let me try another assist just to kind of see if I can do it with anybody else. Essentially, I'm hitting them unblockable and I'm continuing the combo with the assist and then looping it over and over and over and over. What do you work as in real life? Uh, I work the corners of 7-Elevens. Apparently where I'm from, they're in, they're in big demand of big thick Puerto Ricans around here, man. Make good money, dude. Just kidding, don't, don't do that. <laughs> I got my own yellow book page. There it is, we got it. There it is, we got it again. How you know you got it is the yellow, ex the, the blue ex exclamation mark. The blue exclamation mark means you got hit by a air unblockable reversal. That's how it works. It's freaking cheap. On top, hold on, on top of that, I burn into death? Uh, 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 uh. So 
alongside you having pretty easy unblockables, at least in the corner, there's some characters I can do it mid-screen, you have access to an absurd amount of damage. Especially with Aerial Wave. So yeah, Yumi's really good. So when I say that she might be the next GT Goku, I mean it. She is really, really good. <laughs> Oh man, Yumi might become a problem in the future. However, like I said, unlike GT Goku, she has a few issues. Don't worry about that.